me new greenhouse. That should keep me chums nice and warm. Though knowing my luck, them kids will have me glass broke with their blooming cricket ball. Oh, no, me new greenhouse. Oh, all right. Mind your heads. <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> good morning, unlucky elf. Good morning. No one doubt there's elf good about it. See that down there? They're digging a ruddy great hole at the end of the road. Knowing my luck, I'll probably fall down that. I just bought myself a parrot. <laughs> Something to keep me company now that I'm on my own. Though knowing my luck, it probably won't stay out. to happen. I'm on my way down to British Legion Club, generally pop down every Tuesday afternoon, have a game of cards or perhaps some dominoes. Usually lose at both. No surprises there, eh? Now expect I'll be stood here all blooming day waiting for another bus. Crikey, there's a stroke of luck. He is one now. See this? It's an FA Cup final ticket. Though knowing my luck, they'll probably cancel the game. So I've decided not to risk it. I'm just going to sit here with a nice glass of beer and watch it on telly. <laughs> Sad day. Burying my friend Albert today. Dropping like flies here now, all my old comrades. So I'm off to funeral at local cemetery. No knowing my luck, something will probably go tragically wrong. Bah, puddle. Knowing my luck, if I step in that, I'll go right up to me middle. 
I'll take me chances with road. Though knowing my luck, I'll probably get run over. Whoa! Hold up, Grandad, what are you doing? You don't want to walk in that road, you'll get whacked. Well, I'm not going in there, young un, knowing my luck. It's probably about four or five foot deep. Nah, you're all right, look. You won't even get your feet wet, hardly. Oh, all right, then, here goes nothing. Come on. <laughs> oh, okay. That was a bit unlucky. <laughs> Another day. I don't told out and talk. Usual mixture of bad luck and despair. Misery and frustration. Piles. <laughs> Unlucky Alf. That's right. You've won the pools. Blimey. Here's a check for. One million pounds. Oh, that one. Thanks very much. One million pounds only. Don't know why the guy told me he seemed like quite a lot of money to me. <laughs> now we're set. Hello, pet. Can I borrow a cup of sugar? I'm sorry, love. I've, I've run out. That's all right. I didn't really want any. It's you I'm after, you No! Beast. Back off! Oh, you didn't go on yourself! Boy. No! You lucky boy. No. You lucky no, boy. Get off, Missy. You lucky boy. No! no. Oh. oh. Oh, thank Christ for that. <laughs> it was all just a bad dream. more like it. <laughs> Not many pleasures remaining in life for an old gent. Apart from popping down the park for an hour or so to feed the geese. Come on. Come on, me little friends. Ah! <laughs> oh! Hunger. I didn't realise that was going to happen. Not that I've got much use for it anymore, I suppose. I've just bought myself a lottery ticket. I don't suppose I'll win out, knowing my luck. But then somebody's got to, haven't they? Crikey! It's you! <laughs> oh, no, sorry, I mean you. My stop coming up next. <laughs> Last one before depot. I've rung bell, but knowing my luck, the driver probably won't stop. They'll take me right to the end of the line. <laughs> so I've decided not to risk it. I'm going to hop off now while he's going to <laughs> Good idea, isn't it? <laughs> Bus, come on. Thank you. I've been walking out with a lady friend, Mrs. Bainbridge. Molly. Very clean lady, won't stand any nonsense. Widow, naturally. They all are when you get to my age. I'm thinking I might pop the question today. Time marches on. <laughs> oh. OK. <laughs> you can get yourself cleaned up. Try again later. <laughs> I've been home and cleaned myself up, so I'm off for another try at Mrs Bainbridge. Uh-oh, dog's mug. I'm no stranger to miss up with that. So I'll give it a wide berth. There. Well, what was that? <laughs> oh, fuck it! Oh, 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 fuck it! Oh. I'm off 
just see me see Ben Bridge again. I've come a different way this time. So there's no birds around here, that's for sure. Looks like I made it safely this time, though I am a bit late. I hope she's still in. Knowing my luck, she'll have popped out to buy some biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> Coniston. Nice lady, very clean. <laughs> I don't have a lot of luck with women. I don't have a lot of luck without, really. I was looking through my photo albums last night. Phew, that was a trip down misery lane, I can tell you. <laughs> but to never give up hope, Aggie's a fine lady. She keeps cats. Sit down, Al, sit down. Don't mind whiskers. Just scoot her away. Oh, right. Oh, she likes you. Cats know about people, you know. Oh, did I tell you, Alf? My son's coming home from Australia in two weeks. Oh, right. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's your daughter, haven't you, Alf? Yes. But it's closed in my private. <laughs> Have you seen that, John? No. She's down south, isn't she? Yes. Oh, I've given you a piece of cake. Oh, oh my no. Bugger. Oh. All alone for Christmas. Only three cards this year. Not many friends left now. And what's left of my family don't keep in touch, really. It was a different story years ago when Molly were... Well, well, when Molly were here. This one I was ringing with laughter and happiness. Now it's just me and my memories. Still, I shall settle down to my favourite chair. Watch him, Majesty, Aunt Charlie. Have a nice glass of beer. An individual turkey meal. I might pull a cracker with myself later. Pop a nut on. Have a nut. in all the middies. I haven't been in one of them since I was a nipper. I pop in for a giggle, shall I? Dark. I put my lamp on. <laughs> oh, well, I watch telly instead here. Eh? <laughs> oh, Thank you. It's a bit parky. I've just put fire on. <laughs> no, no, in my look, some tragic Latin probably. Fuck! <laughs> the bloody electrics in this place. Oh, I should be safe with this, at least. It's battery-powered. <laughs> Crack! Oh. Oh. It's a bloody death trap, this house. I better not touch out else electrical. 
Some get an electrician in, I suppose, but it's yet another expense. Okay. Well, the electricians have been, so that's my life savings gone. <laughs> and it's worth it, I suppose, for peace of mind. Two days they've been in, ripped the whole house apart. I've been staying with my brother, Ken. Ugh. I'll go in now and make myself a nice cup of tea. You can't go wrong with gas, can you? <laughs> okay. I'm just off to visit my brother. He's bought a bungalow by the sea. <laughs> it's very nice. Morning, Alf. You off to the seaside? Mm. Might brighten up later, love. <laughs> Knowing my luck, something will go tragically wrong. Morning, Morning, Alf. Oh, Daisy, hang on. <laughs> you know, I could never move from round here. I've lived here all my life. <laughs> I've known some of them since they were about so high. Hiya, Ralph. Fancy a game of footy? Hey, <laughs> go on, you rascal. <laughs> There's a real sense of community round here. We look out for one another. All right, Ralph. For the way, nice. I'm off to the seaside, Ken. Oh, you lucky bugger. <laughs> yeah, not so much of the lucky. <laughs> oh, <Morning, Alfred. laughs> Nice weather for ducks. Yes. Have a word with him up there, will you? See if he can brighten it up for us. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> All right. See you later, Alf. All right, Brian. Oh, look. I knew something had gone wrong. I forgot to my wallet. Mind you, there's plenty of time before the bus comes. I'll nip back and get it, eh? I suppose when you consider all the things that could have gone wrong, it's not much to worry about, is it? Bugger. <laughs> <laughs> 